Hey everybody, Korakan Nala here, and this is the Secret Order of Keys walkthrough. What we're going to do is I will be showing you how to solve the puzzles, and then when we get to where the answers are, I'll give you a spoiler warning, or you could jump ahead to the next puzzle so that if you just wanted help with some of the puzzles but you didn't want to know the answers quite yet, then you can skip ahead and go through those. And if you just wanted to know the answers, then you can skip through and look at those as well. Every month when you solve the secret order of the keys, they give you a badge in your next month's loot crate that you solved the previous month. Uh, however, they got behind and some things got confused. So I didn't get guardians in last month's box and they mailed it to me this month separately. And then in this month's box, I did not get Alter Ego for doing last month, so I'll need to contact them again about missing that. Uh, I don't know why that's continuing to happen. It seems to happen every month since uh, they had the problem back in March. Uh, I did get one one time, but the rest of them I've had to have mailed to me again. So I'll just message them. They've been really good about getting it to me separately in the mail. They're just not showing up in my box. So I finally got Guardians, but that was for two months ago. <laughs> so I need Alter Ego for last month. And in this month, Animation, we're going to be walking through that one for July of 2017. For puzzle number one, Burger Flipping. If you just want to skip to the next puzzle, you can skip ahead to this time. Uh, so for this one, we're going to be using our pen that we got of Bob's Burger and we're going to use this on our insert and we're going to place them around to find out what our letters are. To do that we're going to be using the printout that we had for the PDF which is a napkin. I have it blacked out to not show the answer because I wrote it down on there. But we're going to use those letters to figure out what letters we need for the solution. The way to do that is you're going to put his feet on the two letters listed up on here. So whichever line, because there's two lines there, you're going to have them either facing the opposite line with the letters. So it'll look like this. For ZF, or for HT, he would be pointing to an E. And for uh, ZF, he would be pointing to a B. So you're going to have his head just pointing to the next line of letters, whether it be up or down. Now when you write them all out, so ZF is going to be a B, HT will be an E, and then so on, you go through to find your answer. So this is where I will get into the answer. This is your spoiler warning. If you don't know, want to know what the answer is, you can skip ahead to this time for the next puzzle. So the answer is... Beef Squatch. <laughs> it's a funny name. But uh, for those of you that don't watch Bob's Burger, Beef Squatch was uh, Gene's character. He went on uh, the cooking show with Bob and wore his Sasquatch mask. And he became famous off of it and dubbed his character Beef Squatch. So that's where the word comes from. It's it's an odd word, so it's not something that you could just figure out, really, unless you've watched the show. So, once we put those in, then we get our answer. Yay! Beef Squatch! <laughs> now for puzzle number two, Slurm's New Direction. And we're going to be using the Slurm cup coolers. Put your cans in to keep them nice and cool. And we're going to be using this part inside our thing that has the key and these three strips. Now, I cut this off because in the instructions they say to cut each of the strips so that you can put them in here. You're gonna, you would slide it in here and pull it out. And then that's how you judge where your uh, letters are going to be to find the symbols. However, once I cut this part off, I was like, why would I want to, I don't want to take the chance of getting them turned around because they're all in the right position when they're on the page. So I just left them in there and I laid it over top of it. So it looked like this. And then I just 
moved it around on both on all three of the strips and just saw what was coming glaring out of these two spots to get my letters and you're going to use the key to find out what your letters are and you're going to use this to tell which ones you're looking up I have it blacked out to not show the answer but you can see the first one is that Z with the dot in the top uh, left and that's what I'm showing here is when you have that you then on on the left the left side then on the right side you see what symbol you need to look up in your key to find out what that letter is and for this one it would be P so that's how you do it and then you just go through for each one of them and see what letter is associated to it now you're going to have some symbols like the diamond looking thing with the two dots where you're gonna have two of them you have one right here and then you have one up here in the top but if you use this one if you use one of them like if you use this one you see it doesn't show anything on the other side because it's too far to the edge so you don't use that one you have to use the other one you have to use one that will actually show a symbol on the right side to get your letters now this is where I will get to the spoilers so if you do not want to know the answer skip ahead to this time for the next puzzle but here is our answer party in a can which makes sense slurm is party in a can <laughs> I miss Futurama. I really do. Slurm. So when we put party in a can, and uh, we get the answer there. Yay! Party in a can. Slurm. Puzzle number three is integral ingredients. Now for this one, it says that we're going to be looking at our box that we assembled which has our little menu, but on the side you can see the ingredients. So you're going to match this picture up with the recipes that you got in your little recipe book that came in there. It has a bunch of recipes and one of them is going to have a picture on the back that looks just like the one on the side of the box. So you're going to use this recipe guide and it says to use the letters. So you're not using any of the letters on this side of the recipe. You're only using the letters that are for the words next to what the, you know, like lettuce and burger and tomato and whatnot. So you're going to use your two, you have an insert, which has this one, and you also have the printout which looks just like it, but it has different numbers. So if you look at the printout, we have uh, 20 on that first line, and then the third one in, it says seven, and then you have 13 and 15 and 18. For this one, the first one is six, and then you have like 11 and nine. Now at first I thought that the position of the numbers in the boxes were important but it's not and you can tell because of this if you look at your insert on this line right here it has a two and a three on top of each other and at first I was like what is why would they have a two and a three on top of each other maybe it meant like you know a, a letter over a letter maybe supposed to say maybe ounce or pound or something like that no what it is is that it they're counting that letter twice so you have these numbers are numbered 1 through 20 so you're going to put them in order of 1 through 20 like this I what I did is I just wrote out 1 through 20 and then I would associate a letter to it now to get the letter you need to associate what you're doing is first you want to find the one 
the one is on your insert here and it has it on that fourth row down which is your cheddar cheese so number one for cheddar cheese what you're doing is you're looking at that letter of where the number one is that's where the association of the numbers come into play so if you look at that one is the fourth in from the from the right and if you look at there that's an E so one would be the E on the cheese for cheddar cheese and that's your first letter so that's kinda how you associate it. it's a little bit confusing but really you're gonna have your numbers 1 through 20 then when you look at number one you look at which line it's associated to and then which letter that number is in and then that's your letter so this is where I will get into spoilers if you do not want to know the answer skip ahead to the next puzzle but you've been warned here is our answers eggers can't be cheesers <laughs> all right that works I guess eggers can't be cheesers but when we put that in Yay, we solved a puzzle! What, 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 what? Puzzle number four, portal party. Portal party. That's a kind of a tongue twister. Try and say that five times fast. But basically, we're going to be using the portals that are inside our little pamphlet, our insert pamphlet, and our little figurine of uh, him flipping you off flip 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 what I like about this is it it actually helps him flipping you off helps with the puzzle <laughs> I'll show you why so you need to place him you'd have to take him off the stand though so this just have his feet and what you're going to do is you're going to place him down on the first one which is puzzle number two you see puzzle number two has these two dots underneath with the wavy lines. So you're going to take the two dots and use that to place where his feet go, head down, and his the fact that he's flipping you off actually keeps him stable <laughs> on the page. And in between his uh, two antennae has a letter. In this case it would be Q. And what you're going to do is you're going to rotate him around based on what the... I have it, the answers blacked out, that's why it says that. But you see there on the first one as the two wavy lines, so that's referring to which portal you're at. So it's the first one. And then plus five, which means you're going to move him five spots, five spaces clockwise. So when you do that, you're going to end up moving him five spaces down to the end and that's where the portal comes into play so you move him five spaces you write that letter down and then it will portal you to the next one which is a triangle with minus three this is where it gets a little tricky so you're going to stay on your N in the plus five for the first page, and you're going to portal him over to the triangle, which is uh, number three, in the same position. So he's gonna be in this position as if he physically got portaled over, and then this is your starting point to do your minus three. So then you go back three spots and when you do that, you end up at O. So this is where I will get into spoilers. If you do not want to know the answer, go ahead and skip ahead to this time. But let us go forward and we'll get into the answer now. So whenever you go through all of the portals going all the way around, you come up with the answer. No body exists on purpose. It's uh, pretty long. What I ended up doing is I didn't move him around. I did for the first one just so I could get pictures to show you guys. But really what I did is like I would just keep my finger here 
and then it says, you know, you're portaling over to the, the triangle. So I would portal over to the triangle in the same spot and then just move plus or minus. So once I understood how, where his head was pointed, I didn't, I didn't use him again. I didn't physically move him around on everything. But that's how you're supposed to solve it. So once we put in no body exists, on purpose, we solved the problem. Yay! Puzzle number five is called Recipe Secrets. Uh, basically, we're going to just print out our paper here, and it has a list of the recipes that we are referencing. And then you're going to go into your recipe card like we used earlier, which was this one. And we're going to use this one again, the one that we used on the other puzzle that had this. But we're going to be using this side now. And that's the first one on the list. And then you just go through and find the others until you have them all. And the clue that they give you is that you're going to do line, then word, and then letter. So for this first one, it says New Baconings Burger, and it's two, two, and two. So what you're going to do is you're going to come down using just this paragraph right here. You're not using anything else. So just this paragraph. You're going to come down to the second line, and then go over to the second word, and then choose the second letter in that word. So for this it would be T from its. And then for the next one is do Brussels burger. So you pick up this one and again you're only going to be using this paragraph of instructions and it's 232. So you come down to the second line, go to the right to the third word on that line, and then choose the second letter in that word. You just continue that through all of your recipes until you get all of your letters and that's what spells the answer. It's not too difficult, it's just a little time consuming to look at all of what the letters are. Uh, if you do not want to know the answer, skip ahead to the next puzzle. But you have been warned, here is our answer. The Belchies, which is in reference to an episode that's where it comes from. But put that in and we get it. Yay! Bill cheese. Puzzle number six, turtle transcription. This one could be very labor intensive, but I found a way around that. But if you want to do it the long way, it's fine if you have fun cutting things out. I will give a suggestion. So what you're going to do is you're supposed to cut all of these out individually. You know, like using a pair of scissors. If you do that, it will take a long time. For some of these uh, fine-tuned cuts, where you're doing a lot of them and they're weird angles and everything, what I ended up doing is I went and bought an X-Acto knife, and then I would I would put this on a piece of cardboard and just cut them out like a surgical thing. Uh, it would be a lot easier than trying to do it with scissors. So if that is something that you're interested in, I would try and just go get an X-Acto knife because it does seem to, every once in a while, you come up with a puzzle that you would use it for. I've used it a few times on all of the other Secret Order of Keys. But I did not cut these out to place them. And the reason they want you to cut them out is because you're going to be taking letters away that were one color if it's not attached to another. So you have your printout. It gives you your four rules, and your four rules basically say, after you've placed all of your letters, remove red if it's not touching an orange side, purple if it's not touching blue, red, orange if it's not touching blue, and remove blue if it's not touching purple. So this is what I did instead of cutting them out. I just wrote on the this thing, I wrote on there the color and then the letter. So like if you look at uh, number one, I wrote a P for purple and an A for the letter A. And then I just went through and I'll show you a couple. 
P E R E O O B C. So I just wrote the letter, the color of it, and then the letter. And then I went through, and anything that was a red one that wasn't touching, I just X'd them out. So it looked like they were, it was X'd out. And then you come up with your letters. However, this one I don't think was done right, or maybe I missed something. But this is where I'm going to get into spoilers, and I will talk about the answer. So if you do not want to know the answer, skip ahead to the end of the video. But here is our spoilers. So the spoilers is the, it spells out, become one with shadow. However, when you get, and it does this fine on here until you get to shadow. So become one with, and then shadow, S-H-A-D, then the next one for number 23 is B, a blue H. And blue you remove if it's not touching purple. But that blue is touching 29, which is a purple W. And the 24, the blue O, is also touching the purple W and the purple H which is 25, and 25, the purple H, is touching a red, so it's not removed. So you have, an extra, you have two extra H's and an extra O if you look at 27. Now 27, you could remove it because it wouldn't have been touching a red yeah, it wouldn't have been touching a red if you removed the red before or something, but no, really, it would still be there. So it would spell out, become one with the shadow OO. <laughs> it could be that I did something wrong, but I don't think so. I don't think I did. I think some of those letters are just extra, and the puzzle might be just slightly flawed, but it didn't make sense to become one with shadow OO. So I just made it become one with shadow because that made sense and it worked. So there's your answer. And we solved the sixth question, puzzle, problem thing. So we solved all of our puzzles and we get the animation key, which means next month we should be getting our animation badge. However, I don't know if it will come in my loot crate. It seems like the past few months it hasn't done that. I still need to talk to him about getting my alter ego badge. But that is what's supposed to happen. So if you do not get it in next week's loot crate, it's really easy. Just send them a tweet and tag them or send them an email on the support page and let them know you didn't get it. They will have a record of you solving it because once you finish solving it, it shows at the bottom which ones you have solved. Uh, so they should know that you did do it. Uh, and they'll be very good about getting it out to you. They always have been for me. It's just they haven't been getting it to me in my box itself. I've been having to ask them to send it. So, But this is how we solve them. Let me know what you guys think of this video. I've been having fun doing it every month and I plan on continuing to do it every month. I've seen a lot of videos out there that will just give answers. But for me personally, if I was working on a puzzle and I wanted a little help, I didn't want the solution and I didn't see any walkthroughs. So I decided to do one since there weren't any. So if you like this kind of thing, please comment below and let me know. I would love to hear about your story and what puzzles you had problems on. and Because uh, we always need a little help. All of us do sometimes. But let me know your thoughts. If you're on VidMe, upvote this. Give me a follow and share it around. If you're on YouTube, like, share, subscribe. Tell your friends. And I will see you on the next video.